to to a initial already raised by the first rapporteur, that is the the, the women that have been. Uh, uh, it seems detained or, or have been for many, many years, a period from 1920, 1922 to 95, 96, as I understand, in the laundries of Magdalene. And I have understood that there has been an ongoing discussion in Ireland as to, as to whom is supposed to do the investigation, that there has been a, I wouldn't say ping pong, but it seems to be some kind of a dialogue between the Human Rights Commission and the state as to who should be interested who should be responsible for carrying out an investigation into the violations that took place in these laundries during these many years. Um, I understand that it is a f one, de one of the decisions from the Human Rights Commission is from November last year is that they very clearly requ request that, this, that there is a statute statutory inquiry into, into this violation. And my question is, um, when will it happen? Will it happen? Who will take on the responsibility for this? And also, who will it cover? I understand that there has been, it has been argued that only those who were entered to the laundries by court decisions are falling under the, uh, the interest of the state party to investigate under the, um, under the reference to these, not, these being private institutions, not state institutions. And then, of course, here, an important to this convention is our article or our general comment to article 2 under the obligation to prevent torture that also it is a state obligation to to oversight and prevent and also punish uh, responsible and redress those who are victims to institutions also of private character i'm very well aware that all this happened even long before the the convention was invented so of course it it does pose uh, a, a an important question in relation to this. But I think it would be a very important gesture from the state party also to show compliance with the ideas and the principles laid down both in the convention and in the general comments to make a further inquiry and to, to be able to not only make available information about what happened to so many women for so such a long time, but to also be able to to, to provide both moral and other forms of compensation and restitution to, to these ladies. I think an apology would be very important here, and also economic compensation in form of pensions that I understand is only limited to a very little group, and, and in all ways try to, to, um, to give them back a dignity that they, and, and some sort, some sort of acknowledgement for so many years imprisonment. Uh, the the report, one of the reports that we have received, made from uh, by the group Justice for the Magdalenas, also refer to in their annex three, also refer quite comprehensively to suggestions as to reparation scheme. And I would um, commend them for this and and suggest that this is looked into to more closely. So I could go on with this, but um, I also wanted to to say that in the same report there's also empirical material based on, on interviews with the four or five of uh, the women who had been to this uh, laundry and it gives of course a very strong impression and um, absolutely motivates me for going on for a long time on this but um, I know that I have to move on and my next questions will be